Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links and commands we used in this video. Today at Solvetic, we will see how to fix the IRQL not less or equal BSOD error in Windows 11. Chapter 1. Update Graphics Driver in Windows 11. To start, you will right-click on the Windows button. In the list that opens, click Device Manager. Here you are going to select the Display Adapters option. Then you are going to right-click on the driver, and then click on Update Driver. You will see two options to use. In this example, you will click Search Automatically for Drivers. Wait a bit for the process to be completed. To complete this, you are going to click on Search for Updated Drivers on Windows Update. This option will open and there we will verify if there is any screen update or not. Chapter 2. Analyze Hard Drive in Windows 11. Let's search start for the word CMD. In the console results, you must click on Run as Administrator. You must accept the permissions in the pop-up window. Run the command you see on the screen to scan and repair your hard drive. You must accept that this process is carried out with the next system restart. After this, you will restart Windows 11. You should wait for the hard drive analysis to be carried out based on the executed command. The system will restart automatically to verify that everything opens correctly. Hey, remember to subscribe Sylvetic channel. Chapter 3. Free up space in Windows 11. If your hard drive is full, it may be the cause of the error. You are going to click on the Start menu and you are going to enter the word Disk. Click on the Disk Cleanup option. Select Drive C. After the details load, you are going to click on the Clean Up System Files button. Next, we are going to select the boxes to delete. When you click OK, you will see a message indicating that you must confirm the action. You will click on Delete Files. Wait for this operation to finish. Chapter 4. Analyze File System in Windows 11. To start, you will right-click on the Start menu, then you will click on Terminal as Administrator. You are going to confirm the permissions displayed. Now we use the SFC command to analyze and fix the NTFS file system. To do this, enter the syntax that you see on the screen. Wait for the process to be completed. At the end you will see the message displayed about whether or not errors were found in the file system. Chapter 5. Validate Libraries in Windows 11 Let's search start for the word CMD. In the console results you must click on Run as Administrator. You must accept the permissions in the pop-up window. Yeah. 
Now it's time to run the command on the screen to parse the iframe library. To do this, we are going to execute the command on the screen to validate the state of the iframe library. Chapter 6. Scan Viruses in Windows 11 Open the Start menu and search for the word Security. Then you are going to click on Windows Security. You will go to the Virus and Threat Protection section, then you are going to click on scan options so that you have various options to use. Once you select the desired exam, click scan now. Wait for this step to come to an end. Chapter 7, Check Monitor Errors in Windows 11 Open the Windows 11 search engine and enter the word Reliability. In the results, click View Reliability History. Then wait for the information to be collected. You will see the different errors that occur in the system. Click on the desired error and click on view technical details. This will help us to have a clear fix for a specific error in Windows 11. We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.